I'll go straight into the process of printing out a surgical guide planned and designed from Artigate software and printed from a Shining 3D L4D printer. Before we start, please make sure the surgical guide resin is poured into the resin tank. For the washer, add three to six liters of alcohol. Open the AccuWare software. In print setting, the printer type, serial number, and platform type can be seen. Choose the material brand and the type of resin. The good thing about Shining 3D printers are the automatic configurations. So if you purchase the compatible resins, the values are in the system. Go to open file at the top and choose the folder icon on the left. Bring the STL file of the surgical guide and click on the magic wand icon on the left. That will automatically place the supports for you to proceed with printing. However, the support may not be in the most optimal position. So I recommend editing the supports before printing. Go back to the support tab. Click on the finger icon on the very left to edit the supports. For R2 surgical guides, you have to make sure the supports are not created on top of the stopper. Because R2 surgical guides are sleeveless guides, supports should not be on or near the stoppers as it may compromise accuracy. Left click on the dots to delete the supports or click on an empty area to add additional supports. If you are satisfied with the location of the support, click the blue apply button on the left. Click the slice stage at the top. Before you print, go to your printer and select the type of resin in the resin tank. Once the settings are confirmed, click Print to proceed. At this point, we can wait until the guide is printed, and you can check the progress from the software. Okay, now that the guide is printed, carefully wipe the resin off the platform and transfer it to the washer. Do not allow resin to spill as it can damage the printer. the washer will automatically cut the guide and wash it. Other printers require you to scrape the model off the platform manually, and that will get messy. Select the resin brand and type in the washer. Now the washer is finished, I recommend getting an air gun to dry the model and remove the support by hand. You can air dry, but it'll take longer. If you do not dry the model before curing, then you may see a powdery layer on your model after curing.
The curing parameters are also in the system, so select the correct resin brand and type, and we'll wait. We are done with the printing process, but not fully complete. Use your two guide trimmers to clean the guide hole and the stopper. And use your R2 gate drill and test to see if the drills work properly. Rotate it a few times, but don't overdo it. If you do not do this step, then there's a possibility of the drill getting stuck during surgery. If the drill does not move smoothly, then use the trimmers. The next step is to trim any bumps made from the support. If you have a burr, you can smoothen out the bumps carefully, making sure the drill holes are not touched. When smoothening out the top portion of the drill hole, placing the stopper trimmer in the guide hole can protect the inner portion of the surgical guide. Remove any residue and the surgical guide is complete. If you have any questions, please contact our digital team for support as seen in the description. Thank you.